What is going on boys? It is me Quinkin. Now welcome back to a brand new episode of my FIFA 16 career mode potential wonder kids in this series We'll be taking a look at wonder kids and we'll be guessing their potential and this is gonna help you out in your FIFA 16 career mode now I do need your help if you have any suggestions of any players you want to see showcase Just leave a comment down below and if you don't see your player showcase Just keep leaving the comment and I'll get to that player either now or later But that is the format of this career Career mode series, and if you guys really love the first episode, so if we can get 100 likes once again, that would be really awesome, and I'll be able to release the next episode. Now, I do do these once a week, but if you guys want to see it more often in the week, just leave a comment down below. And uh, yeah, if enough people want to see it more than once a week, I will release more episodes. But that is pretty much it, and let's get into this installment of the FIFA 16 Career Mode Potential Wonder Kids. Hashima Stewart is the first player we're going to take a look at in this episode. Now, I decided to do three very, very good potential Wonder Kids that a lot of you know. So, the first one is Hashima Stewart, the Moroccan international that plays for Milan. Now, he does play as a cam, a set center forward and a right winger and he's only 16 years of age everyone knows this kid because he has a very very good potential and a lot of teams want to snatch him up but right now he is playing for Milan who aren't doing that well so I do see him either growing up in this team and trying to make them better or moving on to an even better team now he does have a 66 overall rating in FIFA 15 but a potential of an 88 which is one of the highest in the game if not the highest I believe so but you can break that potential if you keep playing him and overall very very good player two star weak foot and a five star skill move set which is really really awesome for a 16 year old now he doesn't have a real game face which kind of sucks because he is a very hyped up player that a lot of people wanted to use but he does not have a real face in the game hopefully in the next FIFA he does uh, but I do think that he's gonna have the same potential in the next FIFA or they might lower it we do not know uh, but I do believe he's gonna have an 88 or an 87 in the next FIFA which is going to be FIFA 16 so if you guys want to pick him up he's gonna be a very very good career mode player to pick up very young good on the ball very fast and can play a lot of positions so this is Hakim Mastur Martin Odegaard is the next wonder kid we're going to take a look at and he plays for Real Madrid and he is going to be loaned out next season most probably he is 15 years of age and he can play as a cam right mid and a center mid now he is 67 rated which is very very high rated for a 15 year old and he only has a potential of an 80 but I do see that being bumped up in the next FIFA at least to an 85 or an 86 that's a very good potential for a kid like him he's from Norway four star weak foot and four star skill moves now, now he did play a game for Real Madrid and he actually did pretty damn well even though it, the season was already over and they let him play for fun he still had a decent game and one of his higher stats are acceleration and agility so he's very good on the ball very fast and he could work on his long passing his short passing but overall over time if you keep using him he's gonna be a very good player to get a lot of career mode guys might get this kid because he's very hyped up just like Hashima Stewart but he's younger and he almost plays the same position so Hashima Stewart and Martin Nordegaard are two players that you guys are going to see in a lot of career modes starting off in FIFA 16. So don't miss out on it and get this kid yourself. The next wonder kid is Miroslav Orsic. Now he is a little older, he's 21 years of age, but he can play as a left wing, left mid, cam, and a right mid, which is very good for a player his age. He has an overall rating of a 73, and his potential rating went up to an 82. This kid used to be a lower rated player, but they gave him a huge bump in rating and potential, which is awesome. This kid is a lot older, so you're not gonna see a lot of people picking him up, but nevertheless, if you want a good FIFA 16 career mode, and you want a kid with a very good potential, get this kid in your team. He will go up in his potential, and I believe he can go up to an 84 or an 85. All these players have great potential. I do believe his overall rating will stay the same, but for the most part, this kid is pretty good, and uh, a lot of people are saying he's a new Modric, and uh, he's a very fun player to use. He has a four-star weak foot and a three-star skill move set, which is freaking awesome, and he does play for the Jeonam Dragons, which I believe is in the Chinese League. I'm not pretty sure, but he does play for a lower league team so you can pick him up very easily if you have the money now he has very good movement skills with high acceleration and overall he's very pacey and uh, good dribbling and curve on this kid so if you want to pick him up 
go right ahead very underrated i suggest you get him finally we have the bonus player which is the last player in this potential wonder kids episode and the kid is rafael bore he is colombian and he can play as a striker he is 18 years of age and he is high rated for his age 73 overall rating with the potential of an 82. he has three star skill moves and a three star weak foot and i do see this kid's potential going up at least to an 83 the max i believe is going to be like 85 or 86 but it depends on how he's going to start off the next season so rafael bore colombian and I haven't seen a lot of career mode guys use him he is new to the scene he was low rated in the beginning of fifa but he got a huge bump in his stats and he has very good finishing heading and overall is a very clinical striker he has decent dribbling for a striker with 75 dribbling and his ball control is also pretty good. Decent pace, but his high stats are in agility and in balance, which is really, really good for a striker. So, he's a striker you might want to get from Colombia and uh, you can build him up to be a tank in FIFA 16. So, these were the players. I hope you guys did enjoy it. Remember to leave suggestions down below of players I should do next and I will be taking a look at them and I'll be doing four players per episode three main ones and then just one bonus where we'll be taking a quick look at the player but that is pretty much it let's go over 100 likes and i hope you guys did enjoy it i'm quinkin and i'll see you guys next time